Good evening, you guys. It's Monday night. It's July 29th. Team Flow, Coach Zoom. Thank you for being here. I hope everyone is having a really great summer. I know summer tends to blur by and things get crazy. And if you have kids, you're heading into August, you're heading into back to school. So the one word I've stopped saying completely is busy. And once people say that word to me, I'm like, ooh, but is that a real thing? Or is that just living your life? Like, I'm not busy. I'm just living my life and I'm prioritizing what I need to prioritize. So tonight we're going to talk about selling. And it's something that people get so scared of in this business. But if you did not listen to the call with Ashley Molstad that I posted in the team page, please listen to it please listen to it. I will reference several of her things that you'll, if you listen to the call, you'll hear it again, but we need that repetition because it was so, it was just so wonderfully laid out. Um, she's the top coach for a reason. She has this stuff figured out and we need to embrace that mindset because what holds a lot of us back in this business, can everyone hear me? I totally forgot to ask that. Yeah. Okay. What totally can hold people back in this business is just being afraid to be enthusiastic about what we do. It's being afraid to ask someone to not wait until next month to do this now. Like we're late already. We've got to go. And that's just something I really took away from that zoom. Um, so I want to get right into it. I have announcements, I have selling, and then I'm going to hand it over to Brandy who has really been working her business. And she is a, I'm not going to say the, the B word, not that kind of B word. She's a busy wife and mom of four. So we'll get to her at the end of the call, but let's get started. And if someone can just tell me uh, if you can see my screen in just a second or just give me, um, hang on, not yet, not yet. And I love PowerPoints because it just keeps me on board. Can we see this? Yes. Okay. So announcements. And I always get this cut off a little bit. So you guys, this is so exciting for success club points. We have two days left in July. I'm going to speak to that in a little bit, um, in just a second too, but it's so important to recognize the people that have helped people start to change their lives in the month of July. So Sarah's at 28. I'm at 26. Uh, Tessa's at eight. Christy's at six. Katie's at six. Sarah's at six. Maria's at six. And all of you guys with six or above, that's the half of the requirement for success club. We'll go into the second half in the next slide, but that's so huge. You've helped at least three people. Um, Brian, I'm, I'm building my husband's account. So technically I'm at 30, but Brian has four. Um, Melissa has four. Coley has two. Chris has two. And Chris is Stephanie's husband. Bree has two. Daniela, two. Haley, two. Julie, two. Morgan, two. And Stephanie, two. So all of these, these are not all my personally sponsored. Some of these are your personally sponsored. So please make sure once again, that you're checking your drill down because some of your coaches are freaking crushing it. And you got to make sure that you recognize them and you acknowledge leadership because this is so exciting and officially on Thursday Samantha's coach Melissa will be an Emerald coach so that is really exciting way to go Melissa it'll officially change in your office on Thursday okay guys real quick announcements what I like to do is listen up to like sort of what's going on in the week to bring these announcements to you guys um, so success club qualification there's been some questions Yes, six points is the minimum points. Technically, it used to be five. There is a way you can get odd amount of points, one point. But five or six or above is success club. The other piece of that is you do, as the coach, need to have an order of at least 90 personal volume on home direct for the month. And that just means you're proof the products work, right? So we need to be, if you're on Shakeology Monthly, you have that. You don't need to even think twice about it. You're good to go. I believe, and I think someone confirmed this right in the chat box too, at energize and recover, I think technically is 82, but I still think that counts. I need to double check that. Um, I'm on a monthly Shakeology in my first business center, but I, I believe energize and recover counts as well. And that again, just means that you are using the products yourself. So you do need to have that other part of success club to officially achieve success club recognized by Beachbody. And just know that it's going to say the personal order is not fulfilled yet until your order goes through. So if your order goes through on the 15th of the month, it's going to say you're not qualified, even if you have six points until the 15th of the month. Does that make sense? Okay. Onboarding new coaches. This is huge because you guys are really starting to grow your team, especially those who are in the push for us to reach our big crazy goal that we're going to hit. And I'm going to be so excited when we do, but you have to understand that there is a system for onboarding new coaches that doesn't have to be overwhelming. It's actually pretty simple. The file section of Team Glow is your best friend. But what I can tell you is you sign up a coach. I send all my coaches welcome email, regardless if they are hitting the ground running with their business or they're not working their business. If they're a coach, they get a welcome email. In there, they have the link to module one of my coach training. What most of you guys, I think some of you guys don't know this. I created, we used to have the group called the five days to yay. 
that's now module phase two of the module training. Okay. So my new coach training for a coach is 10 modules all on Google form, all self-paced. When they finish module five, then I have a zoom with them and then they go modules six through 10. So modules one through five are really just kind of understand the basics of the business. Six through 10 is actually taking action and doing the things like putting your first post out there, inviting people, that's six through 10. So if you don't have your trainings created yet, number one, you can copy mine. So you just pull up my Google form and copy through your own Google form. I can show you how to do it if you haven't yet. Um, if you sign up a coach tomorrow and you don't have a training in place, send them mine. That's what it's there for. But you need to have this created for your own coaches. And if you can do it differently or do it better than me, do it. This is your new coach that you're welcoming into this team. But I will say having a self-paced training is so easy. Because if someone doesn't prioritize that, I'm not going to have a Zoom with them. It's fine. I'll treat them like a challenger until they're ready to build their business. Okay? So you can lead the horse to water. You can't make them drink, but you have to keep growing your team and be ready to run with those who are willing to run with you. Um, I see there's a chat, but I can't see it right now. Oh, I'll come back to that. Okay. Uh, the power of personal development. Obviously, you guys, if you're not doing personal development, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like personal development needs to happen in your life on a daily basis. The only day I usually skip is Saturdays because that's my total pretty much unplugged day. And personal development, Josh Spencer said this at Super Sunday yesterday for us, is make sure you're doing what you need. Don't read something just because it's popular. If you hate a book that you're reading, stop reading it. I know I need to read books on leadership because that is really where I'm digging in right now. If you suck at time management, read a book on time management. You know, you have to really understand um, if your confidence is really low, ask for suggestions on confidence or podcasts or books, whatever you're reading or listening to, make sure you're doing what you need. Obviously you guys know this is the sense of urgency part of it. Two days left for the sale on morning meltdown. Um, Maria was asking if the, they can still get early access to morning meltdown after July. Of course they can get it August, September. Um, it launches to BOD in October to the library, but it's on sale only until Wednesday night. It's on the $20 off. Okay, and I've, I went live about this this morning, you guys, but Zooms, I am willing to do whatever I can to help you, but I, I need to meet you where you are. Like, I need to know that you're actually doing the work. Um, and if you're, so this is what I'm saying. If you can show me your success club tracker for the last four weeks of July and your invite list, and you have zero success club points and signed up zero coaches, I want to have a 20 minute, 30 minute maximum Zoom with you from now through Wednesday, because I want to understand where the missing link is between your actions and your results, all right? Because if you've been consistent, only if this is your first month, maybe you just haven't been consistent for long enough time yet, right? But if you've been really consistent in the vitals and you're at zero, 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 we need to talk about it. We need to figure out what the missing link is. And something that you might wanna consider is, are you just going through the motions to check some boxes and invite, or do you really believe that you're gonna help people and you have that excitement, enthusiasm, and sense of urgency to get it done now. Like we gotta help people now. We need to meet objections with our own story. And they're either, I'll mention this in, the, in a minute, we're either gonna sell them on a yes or they're selling us on a no, okay? And you're not gonna be able to convince everyone, but those aren't your people. You're looking for your people who see the value, who trust you, who've seen your life change because of this and are ready to go. Like they, are, they want, what you're promoting. They want the train that you're driving. They are ready to go because that's the kind of enthusiasm you bring. All right. So that could be your missing link. Maybe you're just checking the boxes and you're doing the stuff, but do you really believe it? Do you really believe this is the best thing people can do? If so, we need to build your confidence muscle. Speak to that, right? Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to see the chat box, but, um, let me see if I can see it. Okay, Melissa, do I send the modules to people you know are just discount coaches? Good question. I, hang on, I gotta X that box out. Um, I send the welcome email to every single coach, regardless if they're telling me they don't wanna work their business or not, because the welcome email has the link to module one. If they never complete module one, I treat them like a challenger. I might revisit it down the road, but I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna like try and send them all the modules. So every single person on my coach team gets a welcome email and gets introduced into my team page. Let me know if that answers your question. Okay, coach sneak peek. We're gonna be doing another sneak peek in our team page next week, Wednesday through Sunday. Um, we're gonna do kind of the same setup. Obviously it's not summit edition, but that's a way for you to invite people, especially current challengers, to learn more about this business and people that you're talking to on social media. Remember you guys, 
Posting is 90% service and 10% call to action. One post a week maximum should be asking people to do something to join you. Every other post on your feed needs to be serving people in a way that's motivating, sharing a piece of your story, teaching them something. You guys are like geniuses on stuff that I come to you about. You need to share stuff that you can teach people that's not related to health and fitness, or maybe it is, but how can you serve your audience every day? Stories call to actions every day. That's great. Do it. Stories are where it's at, but posts need to be about service. Like, and stories do too, but you really can do more calls to actions on your stories, in my opinion. Minimum three coach business invites every day. You guys, if you're not finding you have three people to invite to coaching, you're not talking about it enough. Okay. And I know a couple of you guys have experienced coach cancellations the last week and it sucks. Like it does, especially if they didn't give you a heads up. I just had one the other week. Um, but that does not define you as a coach and you can have your moment of being like, man, that stinks. And I would still reach out and ask them if you could have supported them better, bless and release though. And please don't let that make you think you're not a good coach. Cause that as you grow a team, that's going to happen. Like not everyone's going to be in this with you and that's okay, but you will find your tribe and you can bless and release those who aren't ready to do this with you. Okay. So real quick, I've got like 10 minutes, I'm going to try and do some 10 minutes selling. I said the S word, we need to talk about it. Um, again, I can, Ashley Melissa, I can do this better than I can. That's why she's number one. So please watch her training in the team page that I posted last week. But we need to get over the fact that you don't want to be salespeople, right? We sell everything. Social media is sales. You sell things to your kids if you're a parent, right? Like you sell your kids on vegetables or going somewhere that you want to go for vacation or like you sell your friends a favorite restaurant that you love. Like we need to reframe selling to just be sharing stuff that we love. Because if that's selling, I'm all for it. And if you feel like a salesperson, an icky salesperson, you're doing it wrong, right? If you love something and Ashley compares it to the iPhone, which I agree, I believe is the best phone out there. And you can tell me all the good stuff about the other phone, but I don't care because I'm still going to get an iPhone. And that's how we need to feel about Beachbody and our community and the coach opportunity on top of everything. Because we have the best solution for someone. We have an ability for someone to solve financial issues, get in the best shape of their life and have a community they may not have. So we need to have that mindset of nothing anyone says is going to make me doubt that I know this can help you. I know it. So are you going to do it or are you not going to do it? Um, if you're struggling with helping people and you're struggling and you're, again, you're not getting anywhere in your business, you're not spending enough time working on you. And that might sound harsh, but you guys, if you believe in this and you're giving up every Monday night to be on this call and you're doing your vital behaviors every day and you're putting in the time and you're not having anyone say yes to you, we need to look in the mirror and say, do I really believe this? Or how can I be more excited about this, enthusiastic about this? How can I be more convicted in this? Because that's how I don't need anyone to join me, but I want them to join me because I know this can change the course of their life. When you believe that, and just like Ashley said, like what if her coach didn't invite her? What if your coach didn't invite you? What if, how can we not bring that sense of, we have to do this now to everyone that we, we talk to? And remember, we're inviting people that are watching our stories, liking our posts, following us back. It's not cold invites, unless you're a brand new coach and you're reaching out to friends and family in an authentic way. People are showing you they're interested. If not, they would unfollow you. They would unfriend you. They're not. So these are your people that you need to be like, girl, let's do this. And I just started playing around with my wording. And if they're watching my stories, I'm way more informal. I'm like, girl, thanks for supporting me. Let's get you in Fit Club. Let's do this. Do you have time to talk today? Like I am bringing the sense of urgency because that's how I want people to feel. Like we got to do this now. You either sell them on a yes or they sell you on a no. And I think you really need to think about with selling, what is your biggest hesitation when it comes to our products, programs, or the business opportunity? Is it that you do think Shakeology is too expensive? Is it that you haven't had a ton of financial success in this business, so you're afraid to talk about it because who are you to talk about it? You need to dig into that and get really, really clear on improving it. Because that, I guarantee you, if you think stuff is too expensive, that's what you're going to get. People are going to tell you, right? If you don't really believe in this business, that it can actually provide you with income that you can work hard for to sustain, then that's the kind of coaches you're going to get. Does that make sense? Like you are going to get what you put out there every single time. I don't really get the money excuse. I really don't. I get some weird excuses 
of course I still get money excuses, but that's not, I don't hear that a lot because I just, and I believe it's because I'm like, of course, this is the most affordable way for you to get healthy and fit. Of course it is. Like I, there's nothing else that I would recommend because this is what I do and it's, per, it's changed my life. So of course it is it's cheaper than surgery. It's cheaper than medication down the road. It's cheaper than mourning loved ones because they made different health choices and they're gone too soon. Like this truly is our life. Of course it's important. And I believe that with every ounce of me, it all comes down to mindset. Okay, so if you're worried about the number of followers, you're worried about the wrong things. That does not mean you don't grow your network every day and follow new accounts, but you need to think about serving those who are already at your proverbial dinner table. This has been talked about a lot, okay? If you're looking at that number, wondering why it's not going up, how much have you served the people that are already watching you? How have you given them a piece of you? How have you taught them something? How have you helped improve their life, even if it was to make them laugh today? Like you need to flip that and think, I, it's not about me. It's about these guys. I don't care if you have 20 followers. I don't care if you have 10 friends on Facebook, you've got a network. Okay. And you guys all have more than that. So how are you serving those who are at your dinner table while still growing your network? You need to shift your attention. Success is fueled by belief and recognizing objections as limiting beliefs. Okay. So she gave this example as well, how to combat limiting beliefs with questions and enthusiasm, right? You don't need this person to join, but you don't want them to miss the boat. So what Ashley Molstad said was, I see your excuse, whatever it is, no money, no time, no whatever. And not that she, not that she's saying she actually says this wording, but she raises you a depressed, suicidal, you know, her story and what this business and these products and programs have done for her. So when you hear, I don't have time, I don't have money, you need to tweak that in their mind. Like I thought the same way. And here's how my life is different because I said yes to this opportunity. We meet them where they are and we don't sit there with them. We acknowledge it and we share how it's not true for us and it doesn't have to be true for them. Most people's brains are just so ingrained in patterns that we can't see anything outside our norm. So you need to be that person and be ballsy enough to do it because if you piss them off, okay, you piss them off by challenging them to live a more empowered life. I'm cool with that. I can still be respectful and be like, this is what I found. This is totally why you need to be a coach. If you're struggling, if you're not in shape, if you're alone, if you're depressed, you need this and you can do that respectfully, but call people out on their crap. You guys, that's what coaches do. That's what we do. And we are late. This is the biggest thing I took away from this call. We've got to go now. It's not, can I check back with you in a month? Of course, if that's, if they're not going to join, like we do follow-ups and of course we do that, but it's, Girl, we need to get you started. Morning Meltdown started today. We need to get you in tonight so you can do workout number one. You need to bring that sense of urgency. Don't even think about August. We're not there yet. We're in July 29th. So how are you going to bring that sense of urgency July 29th after you get off this call, you guys? It's got to be urgent. Brandy, I'm going to wrap this up quick. Truths. Do I want to do this? Yeah. I want to do the truths. Yes. I, I, like, I think we should repeat this. So I built this business to full, full-time income status while working other part-time jobs. I did not build this business sitting around eating cookie cake. Like I was busy. I was a corporate America dropout. I was a server. I was a nanny. I was a freaking hustler. And I built this business in the time that I had. I was busy just like everyone else. And I built my business. So it gave me freedom. Your mindset determines everything. You ha already have what you need to build this team and rock your business. You just have to allow yourself to believe it and then do the actions to build upon that. Make your spouse account emerald as soon as possible. If you guys aren't emerald yet, sign up your spouse, sign up your best friend. I want everyone on this call to be minimum emerald by Wednesday night so we can all be emerald and above going into August, building our way to diamond, building our way to 10 star diamond. We need to unlock our coach business center, being an emerald coach and being able to start to earn cycle bonus. Okay, if you don't understand that, we need to talk more because emerald needs to happen a, as soon as possible. I know a lot of you guys just signed up your first coach. One more. One more, whether it's a friend, family, challenger who enrolls as a coach, when you present those two options, you have to get to Emerald. You just have to. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on this call because you're on this call because you want to build a business. And Emerald is the very first step. Believe in the law of the process. Everything happens when you put in the time. And at the same time, if you're putting in the time and you're putting in the work and you're getting nowhere, what's the missing link? Like maybe you had a light bulb moment when I was talking. Maybe you didn't. But if you are sitting here at Success Club Zero and you are doing the work and you're checking the boxes, do you bring a sense of yourself to every conversation? Granted, our first invites are a little bit generic and that's okay, but do you bring a sense of yourself? Do you bring a sense of 
we, you need to do this. You need to be a coach with me. You need to start morning meltdown 100 with me. Are you confident enough to speak that way in a respectful, but to the point way to say, we got to go, we got to go now, unless you've already told your mind it's over for July. You've already written your paycheck for the next week. Don't do that. So we are a 10 star diamond team by the end of December. I told everyone on super weekend that I'm standing on a chair for 10 star on November 3rd. So we've got to do this. That would make us a 2020 elite team. Three of you guys attend the new leader conference in February in Los Angeles, because you are at least a one star diamond team yourselves. Three of my coaches by the end of the year, retire from their full-time jobs to be able to have the freedom and flexibility to coach. Because I know at least three of you are desperate to get out of your careers. And some of you aren't, and that's amazing but you need to have options in your life that coaching can provide. So I, that was a very, very brief story about selling versus being afraid of it, giving all the truths to it. You need to step into a point where you bleed beach body blue and you believe in this to your core because then it doesn't matter and you don't get hung up on people's little excuses because you can just level up. If they're not ready, they're not ready. And you've said what you needed to say. You cannot say to the wrong, the wrong thing to the person who's ready to join you. Okay? You just have to be yourself. And don't be a robot and just be yourself and talk about it. All right. I hope that I gave Brandy enough time. I want Brandy to speak on, she's been really doing her vitals. She also noticed that one of her key vitals was missing and that really changed things for her. So Brandy, I hope 10 minutes is enough time, but let me unmute you girl. She is in the process of signing up her first coach tonight, which is exciting. And I think we should be able to hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes, um, I actually signed up one earlier, but she fell off the wagon, so she's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyways, this is my first since I've started working my business. I've only been working my business since I think the 1st of July, end of June, 1st of July. Um, so I'm a mom to four. My husband works off Monday through Friday. He comes home Friday night really late, and he's home with us through the weekend. And so I literally have to work my business when I can, you know, um, with my four kids home. So how I've been doing it and what I've had success with this week and the week before is waking up at 6 a.m., you know, having 30 minutes to just kind of wake myself up, obviously. And then at 6.30, I do my workout. And between 7 until the baby wakes up, sometimes that's 30 minutes, sometimes that's an hour. Um, that's when I add my followers, my follow-ups, all that kind of stuff. Like I pack that into the morning. I started that like over last, the end of last week and this week, and it really has worked well. And then, um, I have my shakeology while I'm talking to these people, you know, and just like, it just motivates me in the mornings to like make the most of every minute I have throughout my day to work. And then my power hour of work, that's really just like my quick, let me squeeze it in. But my power hour is at nap time. When I put my daughter down for nap, she's 18 months old almost. So um, we, and I have a three-year-old son. So like they both go down for nap at 12.15, between 12.15 and three o'clock when I get them up. I know that sounds like a long time, but that's my work time. Like I sit there and sometimes they're up earlier than that. But I know granted, I at least have an hour and 30 minutes to two hours to sit there and fully focus on my work. And I work all of that time. I don't turn the TV on. Um, if I'm listening to anything, it's usually like, I will listen to the national wake up call during my power hour, but I don't do my personal development. I don't do anything else. I literally sit and I check off my boxes. I add followers. I follow up. And, um, so back to what I was missing in my vital. So I did not realize that we were supposed to follow up with people that didn't ever respond to our message. Like I was missing that completely. So I had like a whole month of people to go back through and to follow up with. And what I found is, is like no one ever messages me back really on the first message. Like I'll message them and then either they ghost me or they will see it and kind of like, okay, maybe one day or something like that. But it's very rare that they ever messaged me back on the first time. So when I followed up with those people, I had one girl that's supposed to sign up as a coach this Friday when she gets paid. That was for my first group of people that I followed up with that if I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have her possibly signing up on Friday. Um, the girl that's signing up tonight is in my first group of people. That was from my list. Like that's my warm market from Facebook, someone I went to high school with. 
So if I wouldn't have followed up with those people, like I wouldn't even have these potential coaches on our team, you know, to help me meet my goal. So it is truly important, like to go through every single step and make sure that we're, you know, doing all the vitals. And for me, it's just like working my business. At first, I was like, I'll do this when I have time. But now it is like a non-negotiable goal for me is to sit down and have my power hour while my kids nap without anything else, without interruption, because like my goal in this whole thing is to have my husband home. We don't really need the money from my income or whatever, but just to have the freedom of him to be home because he does work off so much. It is everything to me. So, um, but anyways, it's just non-negotiable now. I'm like, this is a must. I have to do this. It's like a now thing. And he's on board with me. He's been very supportive. We're actually going to sign him up this week too as a coach. So hopefully I will be enrolled by Wednesday. Fingers crossed that this girl signs up tonight. And then I have Chris. And then Friday, hopefully this next girl. But um, anyway, so it's just, it's got to be like this thing in my mind to where at first I was like, I'll do it if I want to do it. If I can't, I don't have to do this kind of deal. But now I'm like, no, I do. It's now I have to do it because I want him home. And so we sat down and just kind of made our goals for like a year, two years, five years down the road. Like, where do we want to be? What are we going to do? You know, when I hit this or hit that or whatever. And so he's totally on board. He's like, look, I'm not coaching anybody. I'm not doing anything, but you can use me all you want. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, that's just how I've been doing it. That's what I've noticed. Um, I know me, me and Heather are success partners. So we talk back and forth like every day to two days and just really say, okay, this is what's been working for me. Um, what's been working for you? Changing our messaging up. I've noticed that, you know, at first I kind of really like beat around the bush with my customers. Like, um, do you want to do this? And now I'm like, look, here it is. This is what I have to offer. You need it, blah, blah, blah. And it's working so much better. It's like they're more direct with me. I'm getting more response from them. Um, so yeah, that's just, that's what I have. That's where, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Brandy. And we did get a question. And guys, if you also have questions for Brandy, drop them because we do have a little bit of time to do question and answer. So uh, Emily was saying, do you find it hard to invite warm market like people you went to high school with? I've tried and it's super awkward. I haven't talked to them in forever. So I guess my question to you is, do you, are you doing any cold invites, meaning people that aren't liking your stuff on Warm Network, or are you only messaging Warm Network people who are like responding in some way to your stuff? Um, so I don't know. Really, um, the girl that messaged me that's signing up tonight, she went to high school with me, but she watched my stories. I was really hesitant. I'm going to be honest. I have not invited anyone who watches my stories because that creeps me out. It's a lot of people that I know personally. And I feel like they're watching me being nosy, but they're really not interested. And even like friends of mine that are going to the gym and they're on different program programs, like for protein and stuff like that right now, I know that they're just kind of watching me curious, being nosy and I'm letting them do that. But, um, I haven't really invited them. This girl came to me, the two that they came to me and they were like, Hey, what are you doing? Um, you know, I have diabetes or I'm sugar resistant or insulin resistant, whatever. And she's like, you know, I need help, blah, blah, blah. Um, they've come to me. I really don't invite from Facebook unless someone approaches me because like I said, that creeps me out. I do most of all my inviting from Instagram people. I don't know. I find it easier that I'll be more direct with them and more like straight to the point instead of like, I'm scared to talk to you, you know me and I don't want you to judge what I'm saying. Um, even though I know this is what they need, it's harder for me to approach them. So yeah, all of mine are really from Instagram besides the two that have come to me. Okay, well you have your challenge. Girl, you are missing a huge <laughs> opportunity and I, I hope that you hear that. I think, I'm glad you said that. I really appreciate your honesty because I'm sure people on here are like me too, you guys huge opportunity for the people who are watching your stories and the people who are liking and responding to your stuff on Facebook. I get it. That's scary. You know, you're Annie who was not a cheerleader or on the high school, whatever was popular back then is watching your stories. And that's weird. There's one girl from high school that's still watching my stories that I'm going to go invite her tonight. Cause I'm saying this, she's one person that I haven't invited out of everyone, but that is exactly the opportunity where you need to be. You need to be like diving into that and it doesn't have to be weird and it doesn't have to be sketchy. And for me, it's something like, Hey, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching my stories. I don't know if you have a routine or like you said, people are go to the gym. Like, I don't know if you were just supporting me, but this fit club is changing my life. Do you want to be a part of it? Do you want to learn more about it? 
you've got to take, I'm not saying, Brandon, this is not directed to you, this is everyone. Mm -hmm. You've got to take the ego out of the equation, okay? I got to full-time income status, one star diamond, left my jobs on my warm market. I had to humble myself. I had to let it go. And this is back in the day when I was sending random friend requests and inviting every single person, regardless if they liked my post or not. I fell on my face a lot. I failed a lot. But that, your warm market, you guys, is a gold mine because these people know you. These people probably like you. And these people have somewhat of a trust for you because you are someone they know or they know through someone else. So I'm glad you brought that up. Everyone tonight is going to go to their stories and send those <laughs> invites to say thank you so much because you are clearly walking into my proverbial gym through the front door. And by you not inviting them, they're staring at you and you're staring back. And it's just super awkward silence. So when you think of every story view and every post like as opening the door to your business and stepping inside, you don't want to ask about the weather. You want to say, hey, girl, welcome to my gym. Do you want to check out classes? Like when you, I'm a big visual person, you guys know with all the visualization. So that helps me. I'm like, she's in my gym. Why am I not talking to her? And granted, if they're offended, if they're not your cup of tea, if they don't like you, they're crazy, but they won't watch your stories anymore. They won't. If they're, if they're really and truly do not want to see what you're doing, they will not watch you. I hope yeah. I gave everyone's fire a little lit, a little bit lit because that is huge. All right. And I would like to, for people to be honest. Is anyone else not inviting warm network? Be so honest. I'm not going to be mad at you. Yeah. Look at those hands. Brandon, I don't know if you can see, I see like four hands going up. Yeah. It's okay. Be honest, but now <laughs> change it. All right. Now, you know, now you change it. All right, <laughs> Brandy, I hope that wasn't, I just wanna, I, I'm really glad you brought that up, so thank you. Um, anyone else have a question for Brandy? I think what you do really well is you are very natural and very genuine, and one thing that Brandy does that I think, if you're not following her, you need to, if you're not friends with her, you need to, she believes in the products wholeheartedly. She watched me for a very long time, she watched me have success with this, and when she joined, she was ready. She was ready to commit and not once has she, she's had moved. She's had sick kids. She has four kids. I have one and I can't keep my head on straight. Like she does a lot, but she's never once quit on her journey. She's fallen off, gotten back on, stayed on her Shakeology, went back to her workouts. And that is what it's all about. So if anyone can speak to being proof, the products work, it's Brandy. And she is a really, really great example for that. Um, so I really want to acknowledge you for that. So Ashley said, can you share what changed, what you changed your invite wording to? So you said you did get a little more straight to the point. What does that look like? Yes, basically I just go in, um, and I'll send like, I have in my notes, I have like little, like typed out messages and I honestly just copy and paste them to, it's just a generic message. Like, Hey, like in my message, it says, Hey girl. Um, thank you so much for like the follow back because I'm on Instagram. I just told y'all I don't do Facebook, <laughs> but, um, anyways, and it says, um, you know, thank you so much for the follow back. I saw that, you know, I try to add something in, like, I saw your daughter does dance too. Um, that's so cool. My daughter does too, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll say like, um, I didn't know if you saw, or you've been, you know, seeing my stories or whatever, um, I say I'm co-hosting a fit club because I'm not the host and I don't want them to get in and go, you not, you know, so I'll just say like, I'm co-hosting a fit club. I would really love to have you. It's just a really great support for me. It's changed my life. Would you like to join or not join? Would you like to, um, I can't remember my wording. It's basically, I copy and pasted yours actually, but just kind of made it my own from our files. <laughs> but anyways, I'll say like, do you want to become a part of it or whatever? I don't remember my wording, but I don't use join. And then when they respond to that, normally, honestly, they don't respond to that. Then it'll be like a couple of days and I'll do my follow up and I'll say same message, kind of copy and paste it from our files um, in Team Glow. And I'll say like, um, thank you so much, you know, for talking to me if they did. If they didn't, then I'll just say, hey, just checking back in. I know social media is crazy and I just wanted to make sure that you saw my messages before. Um, we'll chat soon or something like that. And then they'll message back after that message and they'll say, oh yeah, I would love for you to add me. I saw your first message and I forgot to message you back or um, you're right, life is crazy, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, lately I've been getting the money excuse every single time people say like, if they tell me no, it's money. And I'm like, oh, you should sign up on the coaching again. That's why, you know, a lot of people sign up to get a discount or to make money or blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, I don't have time for that. 
And then I'm just kind of like stuck in that. I don't like, I mean, I understand because I have four kids, but like, I think that's where I'm stuck in my, okay, I don't know what to tell them when they say, I don't have time for that. And they're like, mm, no, anything I say is just like a no, no, no. But that's, that's what I've been doing. Okay, so we have three minutes left, and I want to, and there's a lot we could address there, but we're running out of time, but for me, if it's, if they're, not everyone's going to join, but I always try to get to a yes, so if it's a no, 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 I offer clean week, I'm like, I'll be your coach for free for seven days, let's do this, because then I can weed out who wasn't going to ever do this in the first place, and someone who truly does want my help, um, but real quick, because I want to make sure I have time to do our call, Daniela just said she admired how you jumped in with both feet despite busy mom life, do you have any books or podcasts that have made a difference for you? Uh, build to last. And podcasts, I really listen to randoms. I just like look up ones for leadership and that's what I just kind of go down a list and just click. I don't remember any of the podcasts on the top of my head, but I can tell you, I can message you the ones that I've listened to. Amen to build to last. Yes. And Maria said, you message women who look like they're already into something like Isogenics or Orange Theory. And Melissa said she does because Melissa actually worked at Orange Theory and she invites a lot of the members. So real quick, Randy, do you invite people who look like they're already into fitness? Some I do, but mostly like moms, honestly, just like, because that's where I was before I started. So I, moms, if they look like they have kid pictures or family pictures, moms. <laughs> and you guys, if someone's already in fitness, this is what I say. Like I typically don't aim to follow a ton of fitness accounts, but if I do, and then I see they're into exercise already, I invite them to coach. I'm like you're already into fitness. Why not build a business with it? Um, that's what I did this morning. I had a coach call with the girl. Okay. Brandy, thank you so much. I think it is so, um, great for the team to hear from someone who's not me because I know it can be hard to relate to me sometimes being so many years into this business but I do aim to do my best to really help you guys and meet you where you are let's do a quick boomerang so if you want to have it on your own phone go ahead and get it out I will post the picture the video in team glow uh, Brandy you get to pick our our hand motion what are we going to do it's bump. <laughs> this bump okay hang on when we count to three just keep doing it all right ready one two Three, fist bump, fist bump. Okay, I think I got some. <laughs> if you took one too, hopefully you got a good one. I will post this in the team page. I'm gonna end the recording here.